Second choice. Okay, that's one. David Irving in charge of this one. Darren Rhodes against Matthew Macklin, the Irish champion Macklin. And I don't know whether he's a Tipperary hurler or a Manchester City footballer, but he certainly follows both. Big, strong Tipperary connections. Indeed, the last time I saw Macklin in Dublin was uh, supporting Tipperary at Croke Park only a few short months ago, dressed up in the blue and gold, little flags and all the rest of them, the family with him, extended family. But then in his corner tonight, he's got Ricky Hatton. And Ricky Hatton, as you don't need telling, is a big and avid Manchester City supporter. Long-time friend of Macklin's. Now, back to the business. Rhodes, a straight left hand of Rhodes, not quite making the target area of Matty Macklin. Macklin has the right hand cocked, ready for the, if an opening appears, he'll unleash it. But Rhodes is that, Rhodes' guard is held well up, and he's well aware that Macklin can cross a right hand of lethal proportions. Maybe it will when he gets tired. So far, early stages. He can feel the power Macklin has, Jimmy, there's no doubt about it. Even when, when the punches don't land on target, he can still feel the full force of them on his arm and on his gloves. But Macklin's doing the, the right thing here. He's taking his time. He's not being overawed. But, oh, a good right hand. right hand there. He's not being overawed by the crowd here. He, he, he's taking his time. He, he's boxing his way in. And he's not going wild, you know, and trying to take this guy out in a few short rounds. But he's doing really good stuff here. This is nice stuff from Macklin. Good, solid shots the whole way through. And those body shots are very, very, very hurtful. Good stuff, though, from Macklin. Good on, the, on his feet, too. Uh, so defensively, he's excellent. And he's well able to take a shot, too. Neither of them are too shy about that, either. That's a good, solid jab. Left hand straight into the face there. And a right cross, and Rhodes responds with one of his own. But Macklin's punching more and landing more. Break! Depending on referee David Irving sees it, of course. In the early days yet. Oh, that's a good solid shot there again. A wee bit high, but a good solid body shot. See the way Macklin bob bobs and weaves here? They see that lateral movement from the waist up. That is very good. That's like Panamanian style stuff, Mexican stuff. You know. And very rarely do you see British fighters doing that. Watch them heads. Watch them heads. Macklin's good, he's, looks like the real deal, all right. And what I love about him, too, as well as being a pro and getting paid for it, he loves the game. He loves being in, loves talking about it, really enjoys it. Some conversations between himself and Ricky Hatton as they get fed up talking about boxing and talking about Manchester City. As they get fed up with that, he forgets it, but because Hatton knows nothing about Tipperary hurling. Very good punching from Matthew Macklin. Rhodes tries the left hand of the body. Got in with it all right. Coming towards the end of this round. They haven't given a moment's trouble to referee David Irving. He's clean and above board. Rhodes trying to snare Macklin on the ropes here. The bell ends it. Another good round for Matthew Macklin, but Rhodes is no pushover. That's the Macklin corner. Billy Graham and Kerry Hayes. Ricky Hatton in there as well. It's not so bad when you have a man like Hatton with you. It's good PR as well. But he listens. You can even see there from those shots that Macklin listens. He loves the game. He loves the sport. He's interested in learning all the time, and that's a good one. OK. Keep it clean. Keep it clean. Give me the man who never stops learning, and you have somebody who's going somewhere. Rhodes did indeed get out the right side of the bed this morning because he certainly hasn't succumbed in this fight. 
He's doing well at Roger because he, he, he's taking like some really good shots here from back like, to the head and to the body. So he's standing up well. He's here to fight. He's here to win. But uh, he's, he's got a real mount to play in here. Take time out there. I said, one step back, one step back. Swag and time. I tell you to step back. That's what I want you to do, David Irving. You're saying. Matthew Macklin doesn't often transgress. Good, honest fellow. And he looked at that as well as he's eating his corner. That last right hand taken on the elbow by Rhodes. Oh, good stuff on Macklin. Some of those are taken on the arms, but two certainly got through. Now he has to take a couple himself. Good old fight this is. Schedule for it. Even those body shots are hitting the arms and that, Jimmy. They're so solid and, and hard that you, you can still feel... Uh, and Roach can still feel the damage that they're doing because they're really good, solid body shots. You need a suit of armour on really to protect from those two to stop any uh, pain getting through. No, 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 Trouble no, no, is too, no, no, eventually your arms get tired and you're not able to lift them and therefore not able to punch. What's that by voice? Keep it but for now, they're still very much in it, both of them. <laughs> nice variety of punch, has Matthew Macklin, would you agree? That you know he's he's mixing it around with the jab and the cross and the hook, trying an uppercut at times. Yeah, they, he fights more like a like a South American fighter. He bobs and he weaves. He doesn't dance around the ring, you know, he steps around the ring and and, and his lateral movement is very, very good. You know, and when he throws a, a, good, when he throws a shot, he puts all his weight behind it. He, he's a good, solid punch. And you can tell the way he delivers them that they're hard and they're sore. Had to take a solid right himself there on the side of the face. And he throws oh, it right and he's down. Crack. It was an absolute peach of a right hand from Matthew Macklin. And Four, if Rhodes gets up from five, this, he's a better six, man than I am, Ganga his corner telling him to get up. Nine. Can you hear the referee? He's not he might be able up. to hear him, but you can believe me, it's oh, all yeah. over. That was a brilliant victory by Matthew Macklin. A right hand, a magnificent right hand that would take the power out of any fighter you want to name, including the man who's in there hugging him now, Ricky Hatton, albeit that Ricky Hatton is a couple of weights lower, at least one. But my goodness, what a right hand from Matthew Macklin. Here it is, a cracking right hand, there it goes. That lovely stuff here, oh, beautiful stuff. Good, solid shots, and he wasn't getting up. You can tell by the way he failed, he wasn't getting up. Look at that, lovely stuff. Actually, an uppercut did all the damage. That's Good. magnificent from Matthew Macklin. Beautiful oh, right there hand. it is, that's it, there, and there's a good uppercut here. Oh, sorry, I just fell short of the target, but a cracking right hand. But the first punch did it, and any doubt that was in it was eradicated then with the second one. But it was a terrific win, and a terrific finish from a really, really good fighter who did, might just go all the way. There's a real good chance because he's got loads of ability, he's got class, he's got power, and he's got a good chin. I would say this guy's one to watch for, there's no doubt about that. With Darren Rhodes failing to beat the referees, count to ten. The winner by count out, Matthew. Kill round four, Matthew Macklin. Very fine right hand, very fine fighter, and one to watch. And your appreciation, please, Darren.